Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, my back's feeling much better. Um, still not totally flexible, but uh, workable. Um, need to get back to that uh, MG81 flash hider. It's been a couple days, a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a coating of that pink slime rust remover gel. Um, that stuff was pretty effective at getting a lot of stuff off, so I think I'm just going to jump straight to that and not wire wheel it or file it. Uh, I'll do those things afterwards, and I think afterwards, I think I'm going to try giving it a dunk in with some water with some uh, baking soda, which has got a alkaline pH um, that should neutralize uh, the acid that is in that, um, at least what I think is acid, uh, that, that rust remover gel. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to give it a quick, you know, slathering. Okay, just gonna let it sit, work its magic, and I flick that stuff all over myself. Isn't that what the gloves for? The gloves leaking. That's why. Great. All right. Well, that's uh, sitting. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. Uh, it can just uh, sit over here and sit, <laughs> do what it does. All right. Here we are. I'm back from lunch and taking a peek here. Well, I think we'll give it a rinse. All right, stuck it in a glass with some water and baking soda in it to neutralize the acid that's on that stuff. Just need to pop it out and dry it off. not coming off so easy so I'm gonna try picking at it there's a big chunk right there right there anyways that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and chisel some of that off got a some dental picks here that are, are sculpting tools they're not terribly hard though so they, I think the metal I'm pushing against is harder but if it's rust it should come off right that's the idea I'll try this flap wheel bit. Haven't done that in a while. Well, 
That took down some of it. Ooh, it's still really hot. Alright, I think I gotta do a little bit of filing and picking. Okay, I got a stone grinding bit here. Still having a lot of problems getting this uh, build up on the inside here off. Um, there's a little bit in here that I'm not sure how I'm going to get it. I think I have another bit in here that maybe I can switch to. Yeah, this one. Maybe I'll pull that one out next. But I'm going to try these. I've not used this before, so it'll be interesting to see what it does. Yep. was super interesting. It's so filthy in there now I can't see what's done. Oh my god, look at look at all that. That came off the surface. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Plus all the stuff that came off in electrolysis, plus all the stuff that came off with the rust dissolver gel. That is crazy. Look at that. Starting to see metal peek through. I don't know what it, what it is about this me kind of metal. That last flash hydra I did for Nick was like the same way. Like I had to do multiple treatments over and over and over just to get to the metal. Same thing going on here. It's, it's like the rust is or the oxidation of whatever it is on here. It's just really hard. Holy cow. Let's see how far I got on this. Wow. The 
what's crazy is there's still more to remove in here. Like, I could grind it down even more. there but then look at how much is on me <laughs> jeez all right I'm gonna try out this one focus on it see how that works um, there's still a few little spots in here that I gotta grind down that are kind of built up on the inside I want to get you know removed and uh, And then, of course, the outside has to be done, um, which I got to be a lot more careful about because that's the part you really see. So, yeah, let me do that. Uh, it's time to do a little filing. I'm going to start off by doing the inside here, these little holes. That's the worst part, right there. I think it helped. All right, I did the filing on the knurling. It's done for now. Um, filthy. Um, I think I'm gonna do another round of electrolysis. I'm still pulling up a lot of rust um, and it's not coming off easy. So electrolysis is good for that situation where things are stuck to the metal and they're not coming off um, so man I got really dirty um, yeah electrolysis all right it's been a couple hours uh, I can see the charger turned itself off um, not quite sure why I did that I did it earlier too so 
Anyways, I need to pull it out of, out of the water and see what it's looking like. All right. Just pulled it out. It's got that black crumbly stuff coming off, which is good because that's the hard stuff that didn't want to be removed, so. sit now it definitely looks like metal now but I think I can get it even cleaner um, it's still really dark metal um, knurling starting to pop out more and more although it is a lot of pitting so I still I want uh, I'm hoping I can clean up this band that's recessed here some more I haven't really tried too hard yet but should sit down lower than the knurling but the cone is actually really starting to look really nice I'll probably do um, a rust uh, one of the rust gel treatments again all right guys I'm back again ah, just a moment for you guys because the editing um, I'm gonna do another round of the rust gel like I said um, this is looks pretty awesome, in my opinion, uh, but it's too dark. It's got to be a little bit lighter. It's also got a little bit of warmth to it, and I don't really agree that it should have that warmth, and that's because there's still a little bit of rust on it. So the rust gel will hopefully strip that dark color off um, and the little bit of rust that's left. Um, at least it worked on the one I did for Nick, so um, I'll do that again. As you can see, it's already working. Look at that. that brown crap, that's rust. Nasty. It's got a good thick coating on there. All right, I got it sitting down in some water with some baking soda to neutralize that uh, rust gel, because I believe it's an acid. So we may put it in some alkaline water, it neutralizes the acid. I'm um, going to take it out and dry it off and then give it a quick wire wheel and see what it looks like. Hopefully it's brighter metal. Um, that's what I'm hoping for. Alright, so got that done and it did lighten it up um, just a bit um, but it does look like it's better now like it looks like we're, we're truly down to the level where we want to be um, I was hoping to be a little bit lighter but I just think that the metal is so old you know that it's not gonna get much lighter unless I really cut into it and I don't want to get too deep on it you know because you go too deep then you wind up poking holes and it just it just isn't quite 
um, enough of it left, you know, <laughs> to really go that deep. It's already got you know plenty of pitting and everything like that. So, um, but there's still some like really good definition on some certain parts. Um, I would say Nix is a little bit nicer. Um, he's got less pitting and more knurling all the way around. Um, but there's some nice like smooth parts and some good parts like this side's really good right here. Um, it's not gonna focus on it, of course. Anyways, you can see the knurling in it and the part up here is like pretty sharp looking, um, pretty clean um, on the cone there. So uh, I think the next step is gonna be uh, throwing the bluing on it and uh, giving it a quick polish and then spray down with oil and that's done. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, I might sell it. I might trade it. I might keep it. I don't know. It is like one of the rarest parts in the hobby right now. Um, if you're trying to find one of these, there's not many of them. So um, I'm having a hard time figuring out what I should ask for it, you know, because um, they are so rare. You don't see them for sale much. So um, anyways, let's get to bluing. That's a wrap for this project. Um, it was interesting. It was fun, as always. I would actually say that uh, the MG80 ones have been more difficult than the Hales grenades have been. I mean, I've had difficulties with Hales. I mean, and it depends on the Hales, but the MG80 ones, um, they're, there's just something very hard about what's stuck on the surface, um, and it just does not like to come off. So, um, anyways. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys with some uh, some beauty shots here, and um, I gotta figure out if I'm gonna part ways with this or keep it on my blaster or sell it, trade it, whatever. Things I might be interested in: real balance pipe, real booster. Those are the things I need to complete my Obi Wan saber, um, and uh, there might be some other odds and ends that I might be interested in. So if anybody's got a trade they want to negotiate you know those are the things i'm looking for um, those are the things that'll turn my head um, check out the blog propshopshop.com i'll have a post on this uh on this restoration as well so um yeah don't forget to check that out thanks guys